is, what day is it today? Thursday, Thursday, and we have a YouTube ambassador event today. So let's go to the Google office. I am the perfect proof person, because I am not so technical. What is new with YouTube live stream is that you have to have a mobile operator. You have to go from your telephone and I have to reserve for you, but I am here. Look who is here! Somebody is live streaming! It's George again! He's live streaming! On his channel, Oostblokker. Hi guys! Lot Beekman is online. Who? Hi! <laughs> this is so much fun! Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> and after the event, it's the after party with Italian food. So I got a truffle pasta and Basso is back! Hello! She got a pizza margarita. George, of course, pizza. <laughs> Look at him pimping that leaf. <laughs> and Eric is also back! And he has a salad. Healthy Eric. <laughs> Ooh, really good. Mm. Truffle pasta. It is Friday and I'm on my way to my meeting. Uh, the meeting is at 10 a.m. But right now it's 9.30 and I decided to walk to the meeting. So it's about an hour walk. I've been walking now for half an hour. And it's so wonderful and nice. The weather is so much better. Yesterday we had a storm here in the Netherlands. It was crazy. The wind and the rain and everything. And today it's just sunny. Oh. Damn square! Whee! I just finished the meeting and it was such a good business meeting. I'm going to be doing something that's amazing. I feel really, really honored to be able to do it. Uh, I think I'm able to tell you like in a week or two or something because then it's official and it's announced. For now, um, yeah, just I'm very happy about the meeting. Right now I am on my way to Rotterdam actually. We have these pianos in large Dutch train stations and anybody who can play piano or even if you don't play the piano uh, can play music on them and I so love it. Every time I see it I'm just like ah oh, love this because I live in a different part of Amsterdam. I rarely take the train from Amsterdam Central Station. But this is Amsterdam Central Station. It's very pretty from the outside, but also from the inside. I didn't vlog yesterday because we went shopping for wedding dresses with one of my best friends and she found like the prettiest dress ever. I seriously cannot wait for her wedding day. It's gonna be amazing. So today is Saturday actually and it's a yoga day and look what I got. One of my fave Dutch foods for Dutch Oorlog. So if you haven't seen it before so it's with satay sauce, peanut sauce and onions and mayonnaise. I know it sounds like the weirdest combo ever but it's so good. I'm on my way to see one of my oldest friends. I know her from the first grade in high school. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. And she just recently had a baby. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm gonna see him for the first time. Guys, we're in my original hometown, Lelystad, the place where dreams go to die. <laughs> Not shitting you, literally the only place where you can go out. Oh, and this is the town square. Whoop to you. Can you see how quiet it is? This is a Saturday afternoon <laughs> in a neighborhood nearby the city center. The absolute joy. I don't think there's literally any place on earth that I dislike as much as this city. I just don't like it. It's such an uninspiring environment and I know for a lot of people this might be paradise like if you live in a super crowded area or whatever and you just want some peace and quiet yes this is definitely your city but I like the hustle and bustle and I like crowds and you know things happening mm, yeah crickets crickets <laughs> I actually decided to go walking instead of taking the bus or going by car. I could have also taken the car, but um, I don't know. I like to walk. It's my workout. So, also I wanted to show you a little bit of Lelystad, even though I dislike the place. You know, there are a lot of people living here. And if you like the peace and quiet, a lot of people living here, maybe 50,000 or something, 60,000? I'm not sure. But still, no. Welcome to the place where I grew up. These are seriously typical Dutch houses. We call them Rijtjeshuizen, row houses. You see, it's like one next to the other. 
and the other one next to that. Rows and rows of houses. I'll stop bitching now and just focus on my walking, getting to my friend's place because I'm very, very excited to see her and her baby. I met my friend's M place. Look what she got. My favorite cakes. You can get these at the little in the Netherlands. They are so good. Seriously, these cakes are special. And she has a little puppy. She M wants doesn't want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. But new new year, he can be on camera. And her baby is already sleeping, but you can see the picture here. This is Nunu. Nunu and I just became friends because Nunu doesn't like everybody. Right, Nunu? Nunu? Oh. oh. Cutie pie. Oh, you want a hug, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. I love you. You are so cute. Look at him getting excited. Look at... Oh my gosh, you have to see his paws. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Breathe. Breathe, honey. Breathe. You're getting overexcited. Yes, I understand. This is really nice. But you have to breathe. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. New, new. New, new. You're so adorable. Oh, you love this, don't you? You love this. Oh my gosh, look at him being happy. He's so cute. Oh, so happy. Oh my gosh, seriously. This is like happiness in one minute. Like a happy puppy. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so adorable. I can't even. The cutest. Cutie pie. Ah. I also got some gifts for friend M and the baby. So I got this for the baby. Look, these are like finger puppets and you can play with them while shower, washing him. Yeah. yeah, in the shower. It's so cute. Look, finding Dory and this little play suit. Look at this for the little Meister. So cute. And this little t-shirt. Look at this. Dinosaurs. So cute. And for mommy face brush and a hair mask because you know you got to take care of yourself lips oh jelly belly lip smackers oh this is also for baby so he can be a little hipster and uh, some fluffy socks for mommy yeah and she was wearing them right now <laughs> it's tuesday only well only today and tomorrow and on Thursday we're going to Morocco going to Morocco last two days I haven't done that much that much Stefan came back from uh, his ski trip on Sunday and we just hung out and yesterday I was just working a little bit I'm quite stressed I really need the Sun I have to admit around this time last year no I think it was March or something I had a massive breakdown because the cold was just really getting to me and the grayness outside and yada yada. Morocco is gonna make that better. Also, you know what's gonna make me feel better too? Getting my nails done. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Nails before. So actually, my nails look quite good, but I need a new layer of nail polish. Oh, look at the pretty blue color. I'm fully ready for Shefshe. Yeah, I really like this color. I love it. It makes it so tropical. Yes. Yeah. Yes, love it. This is Kim, by the way. Hi. Owner of Universal Nails in Amsterdam. She has six shops. Six, yeah. six shops. Yeah. Yeah. Six nail so, salon and one beauty salon. And she's been doing this for 15 years. So, perfect <laughs> nails. Still loving it. Yeah, I love it. If you want perfect nails, she's your girl. <laughs> you know that job I applied for? cabin attendant or flight attendant well I just finished the third round the group oh actually it's the fourth round the group round and I didn't make it and it's seriously the story of my life but I'm I'm too overpowering <laughs> I'm not good in collaborating with other people I'm I'm a little bit of an alpha girl and I know that it's literally a story of my life so uh, they said like you didn't you focus too much on the results which is true I am a very very result driven person instead of collaborating with the, with other people so it was it was okay but they said it was a little bit too much result driven so um, I can't I, I I said I recognize it 
it's completely true it's my biggest weakness and also my biggest strength actually the recruiter told me like it's really not a bad thing it's really good but you need to learn other skills as well you need to collaborate more with other people and then you will be perfect for for this job but right now i'm just too much alpha alpha girl <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I am not that disappointed. I am extremely happy with the work I get to do now. Travel, being a travel vlogger is also a dream of mine. It was just on my bucket list. I saw the job opening and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. And that's that's what I would love for other people also. Like, just try and see how far you get. I definitely don't see this as failure. Failure. I got the best feedback ever. It's the story of my life. I'm not unfil unfamiliar with this feedback. And I can work on that, you know? I can be more collaborative with other people. <laughs> so tomorrow we are... Well, actually, when you're watching this, I'm already in Morocco. Uh, but yeah, let's go home, get some work done, pack for Morocco and leave to do other fun stuff. I'm back home, but I just wanted to show you this, guys. Have you ever seen me this formal? Probably not, right? <laughs> Look. <laughs> ah, I'm a little alpha girl. This is just too funny. <laughs> Guess what? I packed for Morocco. The backpack is ready again. Who is ready for Morocco? I am. Ah! If you would like to travel along, click that subscribe button. And if you like this weekly vlog, put a thumbs up. Uh, from next week, from Thursday, there are going to be daily vlogs from Morocco. So yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.